So talk about the great work that you do here at Seacrest Studios. So excited to be at this studio here in Orange County. This is uh, where the idea started for me in this building when I was talking to parents and I was talking to patients about what they look forward to. Is, is there a program? Is there a destination? Is there like a heartbeat, a center for the hospital? And the answer was not really. So that's when I thought we should build these TV, radio, media centers and make them a place where patients come, have fun, tap into their talents and forget about the serious stuff they're going through. Why is this cause so important to you? Well, I think kids are our future, right? I mean, we're in a place where we need to rely on a, a generation to come and more generations after that. And I think that when you're a parent and you have to use one of these hospitals, it's, all, it's unexpected. Uh, you're not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, it can be very difficult. And when I see a mom laugh or smile or even shed a tear because her child is having a great day or her child's having a moment where they've made new friends or they've become the star, that's why this is important to me. And there's um, 11 of these out there? Around these, there'll be 14. 11 around the country, there'll be 14 in a few months. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I can't believe there are that many of them. You know, in every city where we're in, this energy this format is duplicated and everybody gets a chance to interact with people who are not in this room into the rooms where their the screens are so everybody can participate and you've had a lot of celebrities I know visit the various studios. Can you talk about some of the ones that have come by? The Jonas Brothers, Justin Bieber, Coldplay, Addison Rae, everybody. Honestly, everybody who has come has called and said, I will do it again. Ed Sheeran has done it before, too. Uh, the list, it's quite remarkable, the list. But everyone who's come gets it. They understand it. Um, you know, what, how important it is and what they bring in terms of inspiration for these young people who are in the hospital. So without their participation, it wouldn't be the same. There's so many cool programs and events, and I know you have college interns. Yep, and yep, yep, everything. yep. It also, this is a place where, if you look at the equipment, it's state of the art. So the next uh, E! News host may you know, come from one of these studios because this is a place where you can really train on equipment, on editing, on producing, and on doing live programming. You've, you've worn a lot of hats throughout your, your very successful career. Do you have a favorite job that comes to mind, or is it hard to pick one? I think because I'm so trained to turn my hats uh, you know, in and out, put one on, take another one off, I like that. I like the rhythm of different things. I don't do well if I have to do a job for 12 hours. I'd rather do four in 12 hours. right? I like, I like the rhythm of, of moving. So I can't say there's a favorite, but I can't say American Idol holds a special place in my heart because it's where I started in live, live TV. Yeah. And it's still going, yeah. and it's still great. Well, we loved you at E! News, too, by the way. Oh, yeah, that was that. <laughs> that was that. that. And Idol, I mean, there's really, there's no, sh uh, there's no Idol without Ryan Seacrest, I have to say. I mean, you are that show. It's so much fun to do. It's so much fun to watch the contestants grow when we see them in their audition. And, you know, one of the guys was working on air conditionings, right? And then now he's up on the stage as a superstar. Um, that's what the show is. That's the specialness of the show. And also, you were back at live. How was the, how was that? The most fun. I had the best. I was only gone 35 days. They made sure I remembered that. Okay. Uh, it was really great to go back and be a guest and see Mark and Kelly. Um, they're doing. I mean, it's seamless. You know, the, the the transition and what they do every day because they know each. I think he knows her a little bit better than I, but not much. <laughs> I mean, of the two people on this planet, at least on television for an hour a day, we're pretty close on knowing Kelly. Definitely. So how do you think Mark's doing then? He's great. He's yeah. so comfortable. You know, and, and the things that they can talk about and cover uh, are totally different than what we did because they live together, right? So, um, and he's done it so many times before, but he's got a wicked sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, and it was great to see them and see the staff. Six years there, so you have a family when you go back. But I'm happy that they're, they've are they taken it into the next chapter. I love that. And you guys talk, text all the time. We text all the time. I remember that, that morning, uh, I was up early, so I was waiting to text them. They're up early, too, but I didn't want to bother them before 6.30. But I did at 6.31. <laughs> and I said, what beautiful weather there is in New York. And Mark said, yeah, it's been like this ever since you left. A perfect, a perfect day in the weather ever since you left. Oh, my gosh. What would you say has been the key to your success? Uh, energy, uh, saying yes to things, right? 
Um, and I think a, a, tr a true enthusiasm and curiosity for it. Like, you know, I love what I get to do. It's probably the only thing I know how to do. Yeah. So all of those things combined and being a kid from Georgia that didn't know how to do this, didn't study this, I feel grateful that I figured it out. Did you ever have a favorite interview after all the years? What's funny about interviews is that I, it's like there's so many of them, I can't remember what. <laughs> You talk to so many people that none stand out after a while. Okay. Kelly and I would joke that uh, we would go home and Mark, somebody would say, well, who's on the show today? Um, hold on, I can't remember. That was so long ago. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I enjoy talking to people. Yeah. Um, was there ever someone that you never got the opportunity to speak with that you'd love to at some point? You've interviewed everyone, so that's a hard one. Gosh, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, I think back to like singers I like, Sinatra. I didn't get a chance to interview him in his heyday sure. or the Rat Pack. Like that, I guess that's yeah. what I think about because I feel like everyone current on that show, especially on the radio over the years, they've come through. Um, but it's always uh, it's always nice to to meet people like that. But I guess it's people that weren't here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love seeing you interact with these kids, and you're so sweet with them. I mean, can I ask, what, what, was being a dad something you might want to do at some point? Because I think you'd be a great one if you, it's something you'd like to do. Well, I'm trying to get uh, feedback on how I would do. Uh, spending time with these kids and spending time with my niece is definitely something that uh, I love. You know, I have a very close family, a very tight family, so I love family. So I guess we'll see. We'll see. And then for the summer, what, what, are, what are you up to? I know you've got your winery. Yeah, I plan to take some time off. I'm a foodie. I plan to take some time off, eat some great Italian food, uh, do some cooking. I made, uh, I, I told my mom that I was going to try and wear flip flops for four days straight. Like flip flop, meaning that I would be in a casual place. Mm -hmm. So if I don't put like closed sho shoes on, like regular shoes on, that's a good thing. So I think I just want to be casual and not have a real schedule for a little while. I like that. Could we ever see you back on morning television again, have a talk show in the future at some point? It's only been 35 days. I mean, come on. We miss you. You, you want to never say never in our business, but let's give it a, a summer at least.